my Mizzer Tastic, and today we're going to draw a cute little acorn. So grab your mark makers and let's make some art. To begin our acorn, we're going to draw a lovely curving line or a nice arch. So start on one side, curve up, around and down. Then on one side, we're gonna start at the top where we connect right here along that top of that curve line and then we're gonna bring it down so it touches there. So that way that curve is all connected with a vertical line. We're gonna do the same on this side. So two, so two vertical lines. And then now we're going to draw almost like a U with a little V on the bottom. So that way it can make an acorn shape. So nice big sweeping U with a little V at the bottom. Great. Now we're gonna draw the top of our acorn. So we're gonna start on one side and we're gonna draw a nice big second curving arch and connect it just there on the side. At the top, we're gonna draw the stem, so a nice curving line. Bring it down and reach for the acorn top. Perfect. Let's draw some texture lines. So we're gonna draw some hatching lines across the top. And then here and there you can draw some cross hatches to give it that nice acorn texture. You can also add some wavy lines in the stem for texture there as well. And then on either side of the face, we're gonna draw a circle. So draw one circle on one side and a nice large circle on the other. In each eye, we're going to draw one large circle, one large circle in each eye, and then two smaller circles in each eye. For the mouth, draw a line between the eyes, one line between the eyes, and then we're going to draw the letter U, the letter U for the mouth. Then we're going to draw the letter M inside the mouth for the tongue. Now I want you to take your dark color or a black, whatever you have, so it could be pencil crayon or wax crayon, whatever you're using, and color in the dark of the mouth. And then color in the dark of the eyes. So we're gonna color everything but the circles on the eyes. Look at how cute this guy is. Perfect. We can also use that nice dark black to color in the shadows on that acorn hat. I don't know what you wanna call it. Whatever you wanna call that part. I'm calling it a hat today. Kinda looks like one. All right, so that's all filled in. Um, at the bottom, we're gonna add some zigzag lines for the variation in color. And you can also add a little 
organic shape there as well. And now of course we are ready to color. And today I'm going to be using, <laughs> I think I'm gonna use some felt marker and wax crayon because that is my go-to. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my nice brown felt marker and I'm just gonna color the top here with the brown. And I'll probably use my wax crayon for the rest. I'm gonna take a brown wax crayon. I'm gonna color that stem brown. That way it's a different kind of brown, right? I'm looking for some different types of hues or different types of brown. So that way it's not all the same, right? We don't want it to look the same everywhere. I'm gonna use this apricot and I'm gonna add some highlights on the top here. Or maybe if I have a white somewhere. Dig in here. Let's try using the white. Oh yeah. And we can use a white wax crayon to add some nice highlights along the top here. Oh yes. That's lovely. And a black to shade. Beautiful. See how that look looks a little bit more realistic, right? Which we add some highlights along the top, some shadows, and that just creates the illusion of depth and form. Now, of course, I'm ready to do the rest of this little guy, okay? So I want two different browns, or you can find like a brown and a hazelnut color. This one is called tan, you can do that. Or you can find like your apricot. Basically, some different variations of like skin tones or browns, okay? So we're gonna take, I'm just gonna find two different browns. I'm gonna use tan, and I'm also gonna use just brown. It's just brown. Look at that. Uh, maybe first we'll take our tan, or lighter color. I'm going to take my tan, and I'm going to color in these areas a little bit lighter, because when we look at acorns or hazelnuts, they always have a variation in color, right? They're not just one brown. Nothing's just one solid color in this world, right? Even if we look at my hand, it has red, there's like blue in there from the blood behind it. It's all kinds of colors going on, right? It's not one color. You can start, when you start looking, right, this side is a lot different than this side. Okay, so nothing in this world is a color. So, when you're coloring, use a variety. You can even layer blues or greens on top of it or yellows oranges, whatever, and try to create realism by adding lots of different kinds of colors to it. Now I'll take my black, I'm gonna shade around the eyes first. So I'm just gonna color in small circles and that's just gonna go right on top of that brown wax crayon. And you can see it's gonna add some shade in. 
How cute is this acorn? My goodness. I bet yours is looking pretty fabulous as well. All right, we're gonna shade under that hat part, then down the sides. around the mouth. And then I'm gonna find a red wax crayon and we're gonna color that mouth in. Or the tongue, there we go. A nice brick red today. Brick red for a lovely tongue in the mouth. All right, to add a final detail on here, I'm just gonna find a nice blue. This is a cadet blue. But you could use anything you want, something light. This is a turquoise blue, also is nice. This one is, who knows, because I took the label off. But anyways, find something light. And I want you to just shade along the inside of the white on the eyes. Okay, or just add one little circle there. You see how that looks? Makes it look like it's gonna pop off a little bit more, right? More interesting than just the white alone. Okay. So add a little blue to both eyes. And just like that, my friends, your beautiful acorn is, of course, done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MizArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.